Hello and welcome to Webdom Mentors YouTube channel and you're watching programming in Java series with beginners. So in this video we're going to see about data types byte and short. Byte. Byte is an 8-bit signed two's complement integer. So when it is an integer, it can be used to store numerical values. It can be either a negative numerical value or a positive numerical value. But the difference between a byte and integer is that the range in which you can store the numerical values. Byte has a relatively smaller range when compared to the integer. So the minimum value it can store is minus 128, which is formed from minus 2 to the power of 7. And the maximum value it can store is 127, which is formed from 2 to the power of 7 minus 1. So the reason why we are using 7 as a power in here is that byte has an 8-bit memory. So when you are counting from 0 to 7, it gives you 8. So that is the reason why you're using 7 as the power for this. So the reason why you are subtracting 1 from maximum value is that we are including 0 as a positive number. So when counted from 0 to 127, you get 128 values. That is the reason why we are subtracting 1 from the maximum value. So the default value of byte is 0. So when you take any of the integer data type, you will get 0 as the default value for them. So if it is an integer, long, short, byte, or float, double, you'll get 0 as the default value. So byte can be used to save memory in large arrays. So if you want to store something in a memory, for example, it can be an image file that you want to store, you can create an array of bytes and store the image into the byte that you created. And you can also use bytes in the place of integer. So if you are sure that the integer that you want to store is within the range of minus 128 to 127, then you can use byte instead of integer. So you have to make sure that your number that you're going to store in the variable is not lesser than minus 128 and not greater than 127. So the next data type that we're going to see is short. Short is a 16-bit signed two's complement integer. So just like byte, we have short, but it is a bit bigger in its range. So it has 16-bit memory. So the minimum value is minus 32,768. So it is formed from minus 2 to the power of 15. And the maximum value it can store is 32,767, which is formed from 2 to the power of 15 minus 1. So you know the reason why 15 is used as a power. So when counted from 0 to 15, it gives you the 16 bit that you want to store. So short can also be used in place of the byte and also integer. So if you want to store your memory in a little bit longer range, you can use short in place of byte. And if you want to use relatively smaller range of numbers when compared to integer, again, integer has a bigger range than short. So you can use short in place of integer if you're sure that the value that you're going to store lies within minus 32,768 to 32,767 then you can use shorts in place of the integer so right now uh, we have finished the theoretical part let's go to the actual implementation part where i'm going to show you how to actually declare a short and also a byte and how to actually use them in your program so i'm going to open my notepad with administrative rights I'm going to start programming. So I'm going to write a program in order to use the short and byte that we have seen recently. So as usual, I'm going to import the basic classes of Java, java.io.star, which is going to import the packages that is necessary for the input-output elements of Java. So I'm going to create a class, which is going to be byte and short. So this is the class name. Uh, please make sure that you are writing the class name in the way that you want. Uh, you can see that the first letter of each and every word is capitalized. So that's how I do it. And there are some standards and also conventions that you need to use in order to create a class name, a variable name, or a method name. So we'll be seeing that later on in the video, clearly. So I'm going to create my main method, public static void main arguments for that as in my last uh, program video where you could see that I use indents in order to differentiate the block of codes I use tab in order to introduce an indent in notepad so if you're using an IDE it will be automatically done by itself 
so now I'm going to first declare my byte 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 variable so I'm not going to give any value for that so you can initialize it using any numbers so I'm going to give something like 18 and I'm going to use short short variable I'm going to initialize that with any number that lies within the range so we have 32,766 that is still within the range so if you go to 32,768 that that's out of the range so we will test it don't worry so I'm going to now print them system dot out sorry about that oops print ln and I'm going to print the variable byte first byte variable Next, I'm going to print out the short variable. So this is going to print both my short and byte variables. I'm going to save it inside my Java JDK 1.8025 bin folders. So the name should be the same as the name of the class. So I'm going to save it like byte and short java so save it and i'm going to run it in order to run it you need the command line prompt with administrative rights permission so i'm going to use windows key plus x so that's going to open this menu and i'm going to open command prompt with admin so right now i will be going to my folder where the program is java c space jdk 1.8 uh, this space bin. So this is where uh, my program is saved in. So I'm going to compile it first. Java C space byte and short dot Java. So I'm running the code and it's compiled successfully. So now I'm going to execute it. Byte and short. So we have printed out both the numbers first the byte and next the short so let's check out what happens when I go beyond the limits so 32,768 so I'm saved it I'm going to run it again after compiling it so run it so we are having an error saying incompatible type possibly lossy conversion from into short so it exceeds the range so we'll be having this error so please note it you'll be having this error if this is the error that you're getting then you have gone out of the range of the variable so I'm going back to 50 saved it compiling it again and this time it works and I'm printing it it worked fine the same thing applies for the bytes so I'm going to use 129 127 is the maximum value it can have so I'm running it and you'll get an error so this is the problem that you'll get so if you're getting the same error then possibly you have exceeded the range in which the variable can handle the values so that's the end of the video thank you for watching the video and uh, if you find this video useful please like the video and also share it with your friends and uh, the next video is going to be about the data types integer and long and uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed to the channel already and if you have any comments or suggestions or feedback please feel free to share it and you can share that in the comment section or in the facebook twitter or in the google plus feeds so thank you for watching have a great day